Hello students, welcome to a new video of Sunanda's tutorial. Today we will discuss about the economic importance of bryophytes. So let's start. Bryophyta uh, can be used directly or indirectly. In direct use, they, uh, the sphagnum is the most important bryophyte as the genus belongs to bryopsida commonly called as pit moss or big bog moss. Plant grow as semi-aquatic or submost on edges of pond, lakes and wet dripping places. They grow best in cold box and marshes of higher altitudes, latitudes. They cover the entire water surface and convert the water reservoirs to box. The plants have capability to withhold water to 100 times more than own weight. The older portion of plant die but do not decay due to peculiar germicidal activity. Constantly increasing mass of dead remains accumulate year after year. Year after year, these dead remains are slowly compressed and hardened due to weight and form dark colored peat rich in carbon. Then the peat has most, more, much economic value. Some of the use of peat and sphagnum plant are listed below. The peat is dried, cut into pieces and used as fuel. Peat mixed with clay soil help uh, to keep it porous and mixed with sandy soil to improve its water holding capacity. It is also used as substratum for growing seed. Sphagnum plants have a great absorptive power and antiseptic properties. Due to this property, the dried and sterilized plants used as gauze for dressing wounds. It is commonly known as moss cotton. Due to great water holding capacity, the plants are used for packing, nursing plants, bulbs, tubers and cut flowers and perishable fruits. It is also used as packing of grafting seons. Seons and stock used in the vegetative propagation and during the grafting of plants. Many chemical products such as alcohol, ammonium sulfate, peat, tar, paraffin, nitrate, brown dye, tannin material can obtain from peat. After careful drying and cleaning, peat can be used as mattress, filler and bending material for domestic animal. Then the bryophytes have some medicinal properties. Marcansia polymorpha has been used to cure pulmonary tuberculosis and affliction of the liver. Then this extract of poly Marcansia polymorpha and Marcansia stellata and polytrichum has anti-tumor properties. The decoction prepared by boiling dried sphagnum in water can be used to treat hemorrhage and eye disease. Tea prepared from polytrichum communi is used to dissolve kidney and gallbladder stones. The distillate of peat tar called spagnol is used to treat skin disease. Then antibiotic property. In recent years, the antibiotic property of bryophytes have drawn the attention of several workers. So, some workers tested, tested the antibiotic activity of four species namely Enocephalum conium, Dumortiera, Hirsuta and Sphagnum species. They found the first to be active against Candida albicans and the species of Sphagnum inhibited the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is a human pathogen. Then use in pollution indicator. Dried mosses have property to absorb metal and therefore used to detect the presence of heavy metals cations in the surrounding. Bryophytes as a source of food. There are many edible bryophytes which can be obtained um, as a food material. For example, pit moss as feminine food in India is in China. The capsule of moor 
inhibiting mosses inhibiting mosses is favorite food of red gross chicks then it can be used as a experimental tool use of bryophyte as indicator plant some bryophytes have the property as they grow in acidic soil but some bryophytes can grow in basic soil so it can be used as a acid base indicator plant then the bryophytes have some indirect use for example in soil conservation mosses grow in dense mat over the surface of soil they bind the soil particle and prevent the erosion or destruction of the upper layer of soil then formation of soil the lichen and moss play important role in formation of soil over the bare rocky surface lichens are pioneers to grow on barren rocks they secrete some acid and cause the withering so that a thin layer of humus is formed over that rocky surface mosses grow on this surface and cover the whole area the dust particle accumulate between erect moss stem and soil layer is formed which favor small herbs to grow on it later the herb stage is succeeded by shrub and trees then uh, ro- role as rock builder certain moss growing in association with other aquatic plant and play remarkable role as rock builder so bryophyta have the role in rock building then bog succession weaver and clement remark that moss play important role in bog succession from open water to climax forest the mosses especially the peat moss established on the banks of lakes and other shallow bodies of water extend inward and grow over the surface of water with their stem interwind to form thick mat this surface mat over bodies of water give appearance of solid soil such areas are called quacking box so the interwind of these stems interwind uh, stems of this bryophyte or peat moss is called the quacking bog and it give the appearance of solid soil the thick moss mat because of the moisture and humus forms a suitable substratum for germination of seed of various species of hydrophytic plant thus the areas which originally were sterile seat of water become converted into solid soil supporting vegetation the mosses and hydrophytic angiosperm eventually disappear they are replaced by forest growth of mesophytic type the uh, the mosses thus play vital role in changing the landscape and this uh, progressive change of a landscape from bare land to the climax forest is called as succession and moss play important role in this type of succession so it is the overall economic importance of bryophytes in my next class i will discuss other topics related to biology so stay tuned and enjoy my videos thank you